What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine, Eat OC Now. I'm here with Joseph. We're in the burger parlor, and today we're gonna find out what happens when a classically trained chef locks himself in a kitchen for months and months developing just one item, burgers. And today, definitely, someone's gonna eat a burger. All that and more, coming up. I've been in the restaurant business for about 23 years. So your experience in restaurants is you're a classically trained chef. Where did you come from? What's your background on that? I came from La Habra. La Habra, yeah. the, the food capital of America. The food capital of America. <laughs> La Habra. And I started, I started, <laughs> started my career. I'm proud of it. Yeah. I started at Mulberry Street when I was 16 years old. Huh? Got accepted to the Culinary Institute of America when I was 18. I would work for free on the weekends in New York City at the uh, Four Star. Okay. New York Times reviewed restaurants. I worked in France for almost a year, trained there. I trained in London, back to New York, continued my quest to know as much as possible with the high-end cuisine that I was learning. We go from high-end cuisine yeah. to burgers. Sure. Focus solely on burgers. You know what's interesting is I was coming off a Michelin star restaurant executive chef position uh, off Melrose Place. It was called Bastide at the time. Yeah. And I convinced the owner to have a Burger Mondays. Oh, and wow. <laughs> really my trial and error began at that particular time. We did start off here in Fuller. We started off as a pop-up restaurant. I agreed to pay a third of their costs. So you take over the restaurant for a short time on a daily basis and make your burgers, which is completely different than whatever they were making their even hours ago, right? Absolutely. We had lines out the door four nights a week and we just really hit the ground running. It gave us the opportunity to really build a following immediately in this community. I think what took a restaurant maybe a, a year and a half or two years to build, uh -huh. we built in about six months. Because, because you had a massive following that loved your burgers. You know, those six months were R&D and really figuring out what the best offerings for Burger Parlor need to be. I think they're a little too chefy. They were unfamiliar flavor combinations right. that not a lot of guests enjoyed on a weekly basis or daily basis, but maybe something that I'd choose to eat once a year. Do you so, have a normal burger that somebody could eat every day? Absolutely, the parlor okay. burger. <laughs> okay, good, I'll just make sure. <laughs> and that's when we started kind of emulating staples of at least Southern California marketplace. In-N-Out animal style burger we all love. Yeah. I redefined it a little bit, made it our own. What do you call the In-N-Out burger animal style thing that you made? Parlor. It's That's our the parlor, parlor burger. The parlor burger. Okay. Benchmark entry level burger, the Nashville. Okay, the Nashville. Well, the Nashville is basically a straight jack from the bacon western cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. <laughs> Just done with some integrity and pride. Right, <laughs> come on, Carl's Real Jr. has integrity and pride. That's a local uh, company, they, man. They did when we were kids. We love the Carl's Jr. people. <laughs> I just wanted to redefine flavor combinations that were familiar okay but we do have now uh, three or four offerings that are chef driven for Royale with cheese a goat cheese bacon burger with port wine onions and roasted portobello mushrooms we also have a, wow. a really really phenomenal bacon avocado burger with crushed avocado spiked nice. lime sriracha salt pepper Wow uh, roasted marinated peppers uh, smoked provolone cheese it's it's pretty amazing you have a vegetarian burger as well, well right? a vegetarian burger uh, our Portland and that is really done kind of in a more chef-driven manner. We have chilled beets, arugula, sprouts, oven-roasted tomato, pickled carrots, herb emulsion, and we choose to put a fried piece of mozzarella on top to this most exciting sandwich slash burger I, I believe you can have. Okay, you can add all. a roasted portobello, you could substitute it for a crispy portobello or yeah. any of those other offerings. Okay. We also offer a protein style on anything on our menu. Beef or turkey or, or lamb patties or yeah. maybe you choose to be vegetarian and you do the crispy or grilled. I would portobello. not choose to do the vegetarian. But there are some options. Some people enjoy that. Right. We have it available for you. Or the other option is you can poutine it, which is put on a bed of chili cheese fries. Oh, that sounds terrible. Which is a nice option. You know, no one gets that. Okay. We marinate our grilled chicken and our crispy chicken in buttermilk for 48 hours mm. before it's grilled or fried. They can choose any combination they want. We have a custom uh, blended turkey patty that is just phenomenal if you're not in the antibiotic hormone free Nebraskan beef mood. Your sides, you've yes. got hand cut fries. Sure, and right? onion rings daily. Oh, you cut the onion rings as well, huh? Oh yeah. And bread them and all that? Oh yeah, hand dip to order. Okay. We don't, we don't start them until you order them. Great. Okay. That should be conveyed too during the... We're conveying it right now. Yeah, exactly. That should not... Wait, what'd you say? It's, it's order, cut to order. Cook to order. But cook to order. Got it, okay. Yeah. So you've got shakes here too, right? Shakes are handmade. We make our own soft serve. I would oh. love to put them up to any shake in America. 
And you make I your own it. ice cream. Yeah. The chef. House cut fries and onion rings, house made shakes with our own ice cream, our own blended beef, our buns are proprietary recipe uh, that I developed, you know, about six years ago now with a baker. So oh. we've really taken every detail and, and done as much as we could with it. Hopefully, once you come and experience it, I promise you'll feel the same way. The DTF fries, which is kind of the animal style in and out fry. Okay, DTF means downtown Fullerton. Fullerton. Of course. Yes, of, of course. course. What else could it mean? The macho nachos, house-made hot sauce, pastrami, bacon, jalapenos, house-made cheddar cheese sauce, shredded Wisconsin cheddar cheese. They're a meal in itself. You have beer and wine? Of course. Two or three of those taps are always to our local breweries. Chilled Pinot Gris, Chardonnay, right. Pinot. We have a Marlowe. Non-offensive, you know, fair, you know, great wine, but the, the wine know, is not offensive here. That's now, it's, rare, it's rarely ordered. Rarely ordered, okay. Rarely ordered. I Beer's ordered though, right? Beer's ordered quite a bit. Yeah. I had to be honest there. Let's eat some burgers. Perfect. All right, so. Uh, right place? Yeah, <laughs> burger parlor. This is the Cali burger, and I'm gonna eat it right now. Look at burger. This is the Portland burger. Vegetarian, mozzarella cheese, beets, arugula, carrots, some other stuff. I'm gonna eat it right now. Yeah, this one's good. Fried mozzarella cheese. Hard to screw that one up. I mean, another way. The vegetarians are on some. Good stuff.